Hi there, it's Sandra here from Create in Spain. Now today I'm doing a little video for you which shows how to use the iPad in order to transfer your files directly to your cutting machine. Now if you want to do this you don't have an app for the iPad, you use the online version. Now there are some things in the online version that you can't do, like use your own fonts and whatever. So it's a little bit restrictive. However, if you have an iPad and you want to get a graphics program, an app, that does SVGs for you. There's no problem doing that. There are several on the market. The beauty too of iPad apps is that they are really quite cheap and they do a heck of a lot. They certainly do everything that you could possibly need to do in order to do cutting out. So if you're not using your iPad and you have a brother scan and cut that does automatic transfer wirelessly, then, you know, look at your iPad and look at what you can get in the way of apps that you could enjoy using because it does make life a lot easier. I've got the online version of Canvas Workspace open here. And what you do is you do your design in whatever software you want to do and you save it to files. So now when you want to actually transfer it, you go to SVG and it says choose the file. So I'm going to choose file. It says where do you want to choose it from? And I'm going to go to browse. This particular file is created in Infinity Designer, so I've just left it in an Infinity Designer folder. It's easy for me to find things there. Now this one here, which you can actually see, which is the design that I'm going to be importing, is a leaf. Very simple. The fact that you can actually see it, this is a PNG, okay? This is not going to import in the way that you expect it to. It can't import it. It's not an SVG. This file, the same one, is an SVG. So you tap on it, and you click on OK, and there it is. It appears in your workspace. So you can now select this and you can do whatever you want to do with it. Now, the puzzling thing with this, if I do a two finger pinch, which normally zooms back to a smaller size on this, it makes it bigger. But you can go to the view and you can go to fit to mat and it'll go back to normal. But you can alter that in whatever way you want to alter it. That canvas, the online version of canvas will actually do. When it comes to sending it to your machine, you just click on the download and you choose what you want to do. So if you want to send it to your machine, you tap on that. And on your machine, you go to the retrieve data and the online version and it's there for you. That's it. It's done. So there's no reason why you can't design anything that you want to design on your iPad if you're able to use iPad art apps. Okay, that's it for this brief video. I hope you found it useful. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave comments down below. I'll see you again soon. Take care now.